Hey everyone, it's Eliception here with another video. Today we'll be showcasing the world over heaven. This stand is pretty good in this game. I don't know if it's the best per se, but I've gotten some pretty good results using it, and maybe this guide will help you figure out how to use it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So a few things you should know about the world over heaven. It has very good neutral tools. This move, Heavenly Orbs, is really good for when you want to put pressure on the opponent. You can just kind of dash in, pop it, and it'll do its thing. For some reason the orbs don't block onto the dummies, that should probably get fixed. But if there were another person here, the orbs would lock onto them. Your other move that's really good for neutral is your Y move. And what this does is it makes a giant AoE, sort of. The hitbox is really only in front of you here. But it is really good for extending combos or ending them. You can see that's the move there. So here's a quick bread and butter combo that you'll usually use for the world over heaven. 3M1s, Barrage, 3M1s, R, 3M1s, Z, Y if you can. Now, here's why you use Z at the end of that. Reality Overwrite is probably one of the best moves the world over heaven has in its kit. It does 50 damage, and it adds 20 damage over time. So basically, you have a heavy punch ender that adds damage over time. And if your opponent is really low, they may not expect to die to it. So they, they might just rush in, not expecting them to actually die. Here's what the move is more like. As you can see, 70 damage. The thing about World Over Heaven also is that its R move is sort of two stuns in one. So you can do some really weird stuff with it. See that second smite there? That smite at the end has stun on it. So you can confirm certain moves into it. It usually isn't true, but it is really good when you can make it work. So adding on to the bread and butter combo from earlier. Okay, so as you can see, that does a lot of damage. So here's what that looks more like in slow motion. 3M1s. Three more M1s. Then you are. When that smite is going, you want to do three more M1s, and right as the smite is about to hit them, you want to press your X button if you have your bar full. And the thing about the World Over Heaven's Ultimate is that, for some reason, it allows you to combo extend after you use it. So let me just show it off again. <laughs> As you can see, they're so stunned at the end of it, so you can do another move after the ultimate ends. So, normally what you would want to do is use all your attacking moves, and then go into your ultimate. You want to barrage, and then lightning execution, and then ultimate. Then you want to use your orbs, and then get them in another M1 combo, and then you can reality overwrite, and possibly dash and use Y. It is really, really good. 
another thing about the world over heaven is that it has a really good time stop kit. So, something you might see in time stop. And you can. And it's pretty decent if he can land the time stop. Of course, you have your scale damage, but in general, the world over heaven is really good for that. Now, I'll be showing off a few 1v1s I do with the world over heaven, and you guys can see how good it is for yourselves.